to Ghost Powered Entertainment. I'm your host, Kanan Becker, and today we talk about my 10 must-watch Halloween movies. And real quick before we get into this, if you could hit that like button, because that really does help this channel out so much. All right, guys, it's that time of year. Welcome to the Halloween season. And on this channel, I decided it would be a great way to kick off this month of spookiness with me talking about my 10 favorite, my 10 must-watch Halloween season movies. So this list is gonna be in no particular order. Also keep in mind, this is my list, and I would love to hear what your guys' are down in the comments. So let's talk down there. And with that, let's get to the list. All right, so kicking this list off is The Houses October Bill. Tell me about yourself oh, and what are we doing? You want my name? My name is Zach. You've known me for 20 years, Mikey. I rented an RV. I want to find the most extreme haunted house in the world. So this movie is very creepy, but also a lot of fun. It's about this group of friends that go on this trip trying to find the scariest haunted house they can find. They're looking for those extreme haunted houses that we always hear about in documentaries, on the news, and whatnot, where people can really go over the top, actually touch you, and just really mess you up to really try and scare you. This is not a haunt. We're in the middle of nowhere in our RV. Yeah, I know. So we've been wanting one more day. It's Halloween. We go home tomorrow. So first off, I really love the concept of taking that idea and taking it a step further and making this really over the top horror movie with it. I know found footage is not for everyone, but in this case, for me anyway, it really works because it really feels like you're with this group of friends as they go on this road trip and it starts out fun. And then when they start to find some really twisted haunted houses, and some really terrifying scenarios happen, to me anyway, it feels a lot more believable. Either way, I feel like this is a must watch this time of year because it's unique in the fact that it's the only found footage horror movie about Halloween that I know of, and I think it's done extremely well. So if you've never seen this movie, I highly recommend it. Hey, wait up, wait up! All right, now we go to Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. You don't really know much about Halloween. Halloween, the barriers will be down between the real and the unreal. And the dead might be looking in. So if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know that Halloween 3, right over there, is one of my all-time favorite movies. And it's definitely in my favorite, favorite, favorite Halloween season movies. Of course, I mean, it's on this list. So there's no way I can make this list without talking about it. It is just so much fun in so many ways. And I'm one of those people that truly believes that if it didn't have the Halloween name attached to it, this movie would be so much more beloved. But because of that name and the mix up with Michael Myers and people being like, what, where's Michael Myers? Unfortunately, this movie didn't get off to a great start, but over the years, it has started to get more and more of a following. I do love a good joke, and this is the best ever. A joke on the children. I'm glad you'll be able to watch it. And I am definitely part of that fan club because I think this movie is fantastic. Everything from the mask, the acting, the look, it's just got a very unique flavor to it, but it also feels very Halloween to me. Everything from the scenes with the kids trick-or-treating and wearing their mask, just all of it, it just oozes that time of year to me. And I'm a lover of mask and the masks are very much a focal point of this movie. So for all those reasons, I just think this movie is such a blast and I think it's definitely a must watch. Three, season of the witch, the night no one comes home. Next up, we go to Idle Hands. Anton Tobias never had much on his mind. Don't you think you should have like a goal? My dream life would be to lie around all day in bed and watch TV while somehow Brad delivers me food. So this one is very fun, and I'm not sure if everybody thinks of this movie as a Halloween movie, but for me, for whatever reason, maybe the time period that this movie takes place in, because I was still pretty young, and it's just a funny, fun, lighthearted kind of horror movie. Look at me! 
This is just one of those movies that has the blood, has the gore and all of that, but it's also very, very funny. And it's kind of different than a lot of other Halloween movies. Maybe you don't think that this is a Halloween movie, but I definitely do. There's plenty of Halloween decorations, costumes, and all of that stuff in it. I just think it's a great movie this time of year, and that's why it's on this list. Did you lose something there, bud? Idle Hands, the touching story of a boy and his hand. Now we go to the film Haunt. This cannot be ignored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, so Haunt is one of my new favorites on my Halloween list. I just discovered this movie just a couple years ago. So out of all these movies, it's the newbie on the list, but I absolutely love this movie. I think it is a must this time of year. It just oozes that Halloween haunted house vibe and it's done so well. I just have a blast with this movie. If you've never checked it out, I highly recommend it. It's basically about this group of friends that go to this haunted house. and they start to discover that the haunting things they're seeing might actually be real and they might actually be in danger. And it is such a blast. I love the costumes and mask design. This is just a great little flick that not enough people know about. And if you're one of those people, I think you should run out and watch this right now. We just wanna leave. It is available as of the time of recording this. It's still available on Shutter, So I think you should definitely check it out. Do you want to see my face? Ah! All right, next up we go to a classic and that is House on Haunted Hill. I'm Vincent Price and you're invited to my party in the House on Haunted Hill. All right, so House on Haunted Hill is definitely one of my favorite movies ever. It's Vincent Price at his magnificent best. He's just phenomenal in this movie. It's one of those movies that is just beautiful in black and white. It's just so elegant and stylish in all these different ways. And it really takes you back to that time period. Everything from the way that people dress and the way they talk. But it also has this very fun little spooky haunted house vibe that I think is a blast as well. This is just one of those movies, as I was going through all the different classics, it's the one I kept coming back to that I have to watch every Halloween season. You'll see human heads without bodies. <laughs> Mysterious pools of blood dripping from the ceiling. The walls move slowly in against you. Yes, I love Dracula, Frankenstein, the Wolfman, Creature in the Black Lagoon. Yes, I love all those universal classics. But when I was trying to think of what was the one, the one black and white classic that I had to watch this time of year, I kept coming back to the house on Haunted Hill. So that's why it's on this list. The ghosts are waiting. So won't you join me in the house on Haunted Hill? Hooray. Or you'll be late for your own funeral. All right, next up we go to the anime to pick on this list, and that is Tim Burton's Frankenweenie. Sparky is a great dog, a great friend. The best dog a kid could have. He'll always be in your heart. I don't want him in my heart. I want him here with me. All right, so as I thought about all the different animated movies, the one that really jumped out at me as the one that was perfect for this time of year is the film Frankenweenie. Rise, Colossus, from your tomb. Yes, I love all Tim Burton's movies. I really love Nightmare Before Christmas, but to me, it is a Christmas movie. Yes, you might say it's more of a Halloween movie. I don't know. That's up for debate. But as far as I'm concerned, it just feels more Christmas to me. So that's why it's not on this list. But the one that is Halloween for me is Frankenweenie. It has all that universal classic goodness all over it. I love the fact that it's black and white, but yet it's still beautifully animated in the Tim Burton style. This is just one of those movies that I don't think is ever talked about enough and is just such a must for me this time of year. I need your help. I asked him first. My problem, Bigger. Yeah, he's right. 
All right, now we go to a film that I've watched the majority of my life, and that is the film Hocus Pocus. Back in 1693, the people of Salem, Massachusetts... Witches! Yes? ...thought they got rid of the Sanderson sisters for good. Uh, we shall be back! So me and my sisters, this is one of those movies that we love and watch every Halloween season. Pretty much from the time this movie came out, me and my sisters have watched this movie every year. This just feels like Halloween to me. So there was no way I was gonna make a list like this without putting the three sister witches on this. We are home. Are you boys a little old to be trick-or-treating? <laughs> Talking about three ancient hags versus the 20th century. How bad can it be? And I happen to have three sisters, so, you know, not, not saying they're witches or anything, but no, this movie is just a blast. I love the look of it, the style of it. It just oozes that Halloween spooky time of year, so there is no way I can make a list like this without putting Hocus Pocus on it. To the night They love to fly, and it shows. Good night. Sleep time, no screaming. <laughs> all right, next up, we go to Pumpkinhead. Will it be all right? Should I be afraid? It's coming! So Pumpkinhead is one of those movies that I don't think you have to watch it during Halloween season. It's one of those ones that I talk about year round and I absolutely love it, but it is even better in the spooky fall Halloween kind of season because this movie just fits right in there. Yes, maybe it doesn't necessarily have the haunted house or the trick-or-treaters or any of that type of Halloween on it, but it definitely has the spooky witch in the woods and all of that creepy monster goodness. What do you want, it haunted? Say it. You're looking for vengeance, vengeance. For one, Pumpkinhead might be the coolest creature design ever. On top of that, there is just one spooky scene after another. All these creepy woods with fog and all those great haunted, creepy Halloween moments that are just all over this movie. So because of that, I think this is definitely a must on any Halloween list. It's gotta run its course. Now it begins. All right, next up, we go to Trick or Treat. This is the one night. Don't forget your costume. All sorts of things. Roam free. So Trick or Treat might be my favorite Halloween movie. If not my favorite, it's like 1A because the next one on this list probably is my favorite. I don't know, I can't decide, and that was the reason why I didn't exactly put this list in any particular order. But Trick or Treat is perfect to me. I wouldn't change anything about it. It just feels like Halloween. I love the anthology type of style that it's set up. It just fits so perfect with all these different Halloween elements and yet at the end they all connect together. So it's like you get every kind of Halloween trope and style and just awesome looking designs and all these things all over this movie but yet it still works and flows and actually feels like a legit story on top of it. I just love Trick or Treat. I watched this no matter what every Halloween season, so there was no way in hell I was gonna make this list without putting Trick or Treat on it. I hate Halloween. And then last but not least, is the movie that has the namesake of this time of year, and that is the OG 1978 film, Halloween. Halloween night. A small American town. 15 years ago. <laughs> So of course I was gonna put Halloween on this list. There's no way, in my opinion, that you can make a list like this and not put Halloween on it. To me, the movie Halloween is Halloween. Like, it in so many ways represents what I think of when I think of this time of year. Part of it is, 
This movie was shot in California, and even though they did add some leaves and things to make it feel like a Midwestern Halloween season, it actually feels much more like a California, Northern California, where I grew up time of year. Because in Northern California, it's not that cold, but we do have some leaves, and it is cold enough that you might need a sweatshirt or a windbreaker, but it's not Midwest cold where those kids would probably already be wearing jackets. It just, to me, in every way, feels like Halloween season. I love the old style costume designs. I love the fact that it gets actually scary. Okay, Linda. Come on out. This is just one of those movies that there's no way, in my opinion, that you can have a Halloween season without something Halloween movie at least related. And so if you're going to talk about Halloween like this year, Halloween Kills comes out, which I'm super excited for, you got to mention the OG, where it all started, because it is so much become this time of year. We have had so many Halloween years where there was a new Michael Myers Halloween movie coming out that we were excited about. So in my life, this movie just represents the season and Halloween so much. I have probably watched this movie every year for probably close to 30 years now at this point. That's how much I love this movie. So that's why it had to be on this list. Halloween. The night he came home. I am Dracula. Hey, handsome! Cut it out. My friend wants your number. Are you ready? To enter the steps of hell! I am Constable Ichabod Crane, sent from New York to investigate murder in Sleepy Hollow. As a trained volunteer, I know what it's like when the spooky fun gets out of hand. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Leave your comments down below. I want to know what your 10 must-watch horror, Halloween, whatever. They don't even have to be horror, but what your must-watch Halloween season movies are. And also, if you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and ding that little bell, because that is the best way to keep track of this channel and when I post videos like this. And I post videos like this at least two times every week. And I also want to give a huge, massive thank you to my patrons, because you guys... Yeah, you! Your support, seriously, means so much to me. And if you would like to find out more about becoming a patron, the link is down in the description. And like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember, guys, horror can be fun. I will see you guys next time.